Alright, so here we're going to change mixed numbers into improper fractions. What's an improper fraction? Let me show you right here. An improper fraction. Numerators on the top, denominators on the bottom. But notice here, the numerator is bigger, bigger or larger than the denominator. So this makes this an improper fraction. 3 is bigger than the 2. So that's an improper fraction right there. Okay, notice that the 3 in this case, the numerator 3 in this case, is larger than the denominator 2 in this case. So that's an improper fraction. 3 over 2, improper fraction. 11, 11 is larger than 8, so that's an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. 18 over 11, again, an improper fraction. Numerator is larger, denominator is smaller. Another improper fraction right here, 14. It's larger, 5 is smaller, denominator is 5, and the numerator is 14, so the numerator is larger, this makes it an improper fraction. Alright, now to convert, to change the mixed numbers into improper fractions, what do we do? Alright, I like to remember this. First you multiply the denominator by the whole number, and then add that total by the numerator to obtain your new numerator. The denominator stays the same. All right, let's take the sample right here. Let me write this down. Two and four over five. What do you do there? Okay, take that five, multiply by the whole number. So five multiplied by two is 10. And 10 plus four, that will be 14. So this, this mixed number turned into an improper fraction. Now what happened with the denominator? It's gonna stay the same, so just put it down there. See, numerator is bigger, the, nom the, the denominator is smaller, so that, that's an improper fraction. And bolstered by their first okay. success. Let's, let's, come, uh, let's change this one. Uh, let me give you another sample. 1 and 7 over 11. Okay, let's change that. 11 multiplied by 1 is going to be 11, of course. And 11 plus 7, 11 plus 7, that would be... 18. 18 over what? 18 over 11 because that denominator is going to stay the same. And that's your improper fraction. See? All right? You want another example? Let me write that. Let me... I have a little space right here. So, 1 and 3 over 8. All right. So, you multiply 8 by 1. You're gonna get eight. Eight plus three, that equals 11. 11 over what? That eight, that denominator is gonna stay the same, so just bring it down there. And that's your improper fraction. You, we change mixed numbers into improper fractions. All right, hope that video helps.